For this recon segment, I want to give you a couple different tips that it really helped a couple different sets that I have when it comes to hunting CRP. And one of the tips is going to help you regardless of where you're hunting. The first thing is going to be when you're hunting CRP, sometimes it's intimidating because the CRP is so big. But what I look for is natural areas where either the timber around it pinches down or there's slight ridges or fingers that come into the CRP because a lot of times you'll find that deer are gonna to like to cross from one over to the other and they love that CRP for cover. And this is a perfect example of that. And what I've done is I've taken a mower and I've actually mowed just one path that's going from one of the better game trails on one side over to another game trail that's on the other. And what that does is instead of them using 50 or 60 yards of the CRP, they're gonna funnel down and decide to use the easy path that's in front of them because deer are a lot like cattle. If they see an easy path, they're gonna take it. So the next thing though, is gonna be having the ability to do what I call tree jumping. And if you look right over here, I've actually got my stand set up in this cedar tree. And this is set up perfectly for this wind direction, which is going this way. And if these animals are gonna take this path right here, they're gonna be 22 yards upwind of me. However, what's cool about this set is I actually have the ability to jump. And what I mean by that is over here on this side, I have another tree that's totally cleared out and ready to go in case I need to move stands. And this can be for a couple different reasons. First off, if by chance you have that time where the weather is not favorable and the wind direction is wrong for a long period of time and you know that you need to be in this particular stand during a certain time of the year, then it gives you the ability to just move that stand quick to another tree. Right now we've had this wind for like seven straight days, so it would be perfect for me but if I was originally set up on that side, I would have the ability to jump. The other thing, and this can help regardless of where you're hunting, is knowing that once you start to be associated with a certain tree, if you like to hunt one spot all the time because it's really a great traffic area, I can understand that. But if deer start to bust you or come downwind of you or look at you in your tree and start to bust you there, you need to jump. Stay in that area, but just relocate slightly so that the animals come looking for you in one tree, not knowing that you're in another. This is a perfect example of paths most traveled and having my secondary option to jump.